Good morning internet. I have actually got a weekend that is not over full with commitments this weekend. So I can finally, as promised, make the mini quilt for Tamsin. Now she asked for something with batiks and with some hearts. And that's been sort of mulling around in my head for quite a while. Interestingly, she posted on her blog the other day a picture of a little wooden cabinet that she's got in her chicken coop. <laughs> she's converting a chicken coop into a little sunroom type area. And that little cabinet actually turned out to be quite similar to some of the thoughts that have been mulling around in my head about having maybe three hearts in a column and having like a long thin mini quilt. So I'm going to have a look at my fabrics, see what looks good together and then I'm going to try sketching out some of these half formed ideas and let's see what we end up with. And I want to have something with three hearts but I don't want to keep have it that simple because that would be pretty boring. So what I was thinking was putting a square behind each one and then maybe maybe even an offset square. That could be interesting. Or an offset square within a square. Put a plique, a heart on top. Could have big hearts that just totally ignored that square and do them in different directions to make them more interesting. I think somewhere in between these two is kind of what I want. Yeah, I think that could work. What I'm going to do now is colour it in just with some random colours just to get a sort of sense of what it would look like as a quilt. Gives me a start of an idea of not the colours I'm going to use but kind of darks and lights. So the next step now is to actually figure out how those are going to work as quilt blocks. <laughs> my design process looks like. This is a one-off design so it doesn't actually matter what the measurements are, I could just eyeball the whole thing but it's nice to have an idea of what kind of size of pieces I'm going to need because then I can use that to look at my fabric stash and if any of the pieces are too small then obviously I won't be able to use them. I've dug out all my batiks, all the ones that I could lay my hands on quickly in my stash anyway. Um, interesting range of colours. I'm not sure how that's going to work but I'm obviously not going to use all of them. I'll just have to pick out some that work together. One of the pinks or reds for a heart. Would that stand out enough? Oh, or we could have a tui heart and that I could actually fussy cut the tui. So it's not a heart shape but you know the tui would form the heart itself. That's got potential. And I kind of like the idea of including something New Zealand in there, yeah. seeing as it's going overseas. My battery died. I have a horrible feeling. It might have been before I actually got to my final decision. I was taking so long messing around with fabrics. So I think the hearts are going to be the tui fabric. Then each of them is going to have a square of this stripy ombre fabric behind it. I'm probably going to concentrate mainly in the, the golds area of that. And then I'm going to do three different background offset squares. Well, actually technically this is the offset square. These are going to be the straight squares. 
So one out of each of those fabrics to bring a different colour in entirely. I'll decide what to do about the actual background, the borders, once I've got to that point. It's not quite the colour combination I was thinking I'd end up with, but I don't know. Something about it is just quite appealing to me at the moment. In a weird way, it kind of reminds me of some of the colours in Tamsin's own art, which hadn't occurred to me when I was picking the colours out. I was thinking, these are probably not her colours. But she does a lot of eco-dyeing, and I kind of feel like these colours might not be totally out of place in her world. Okay, I'm now going to clear the decks, and first step is going to be to work on the square and square box. moment of truth. Can I square this up to a six and a half by six and a half? I don't think I can. It's a little bit off. I think what I did was I forgot to take into account the seam allowance on these pieces. <laughs> this is looking pretty good. So I've got quite a nice amount of space on each side so this should work out okay when I trim it. blocks now. Next step is to add some hearts to them which I'm going to do with some raw edge applique because batik doesn't fray much so raw edge is pretty good on it. So now I just need to figure out how big I want the hearts to be. <laughs> Good, really happy with that. Okay, now we get to the really difficult bit. I have to figure out a background for these. No, that just totally washes them out. No, I don't know, it's not batiki enough. Yeah, no, that just doesn't work. I think it's too grey. It's, there's definitely not enough contrast going on. So the other option is plain black. It's just not quite right, I think. I was just looking at the scraps of this fabric here. And there's not very much of it, but there's probably enough to get a very thin pink border. I 
I am so pleased with how this is looking. That is really good. I ended up using one of the fabrics I had rejected for the background on the back because it's still a really nice fabric, it just didn't work on the front. And I decided to make it a pieced back so that I could incorporate that first sort of failed block because it occurred to me it would be a perfect quilt label. And I really like the idea of incorporating unused blocks into the back of a quilt. Now though, I have to figure out how to quilt it. I think I'm probably going to go pretty minimal. I don't want to overwhelm the design with quilting because it's very small and it doesn't actually need much quilting. So maybe just outline the hearts and go around the border. I could put some texture into the border. Stitch in the ditch around those squares maybe. Yeah, let's keep it simple. I ended up binding it with one of the dark fabrics I'd rejected for the background, which I think came out really nice as a binding. It sort of has a little stripey element to it. I've called it Tui in the Hen House because that just seemed right. There's the finished product. I'm really happy with how it turned out and hopefully Tamsin will like it as well. I think I fulfilled her criteria of having batiks and having hearts. I managed to get a little bit of Aotearoa into it with the tui and I think it's gonna fit in quite nicely in her little chicken coop. Even though the colours kind of went in a direction I didn't expect it's still got an element, I think, of her eco-dying in there. I hope you like it, Tamsin, and I hope it gives you joy in your little hen house. Don't forget to do all those nice internet-y things like liking and subscribing and leave a comment. And I'll see you next time. Bye, internet. Mm -hmm.